You know, I've always wondered what it'd be like to play video games with a broken arm, and like how good I could be with a handicap like this, and uh, pretty good. I've been doing okay all day, I haven't been able to get a win actually, okay. To be honest, I've been really shitty, it's so hard to play video games with this arm brace, or sling, whatever you guys want to call it, turn that off. Right now I'm trying to listen to music whilst I play, just cause I like doing that a whole lot, and uh... I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I see like streamers doing it all the time, I think it's kind of cool just to sit there and listen to it. Kind of, you know, calms you down, keeps the rage out a little bit, but it's hard to listen to footsteps and all that you need to whilst listening to music, but it's whatever. I'm trying to play this game casually and not so competitively, because last night I was playing just trying to get a win with the sling on my arm, and I was so mad that I lost the top two situation, I fucking clinched, wait a minute. Uh, last night I was so mad I lost a 1v1 situation in a top two. I took my hand and I just clenched every muscle in my body as hard as I could. And my I thought that I put a muscle in my thigh, my quad. I just went to bed and I was like, dude, my leg hurts so bad. I fucking grunted at the top of my lungs. I was so upset. So far, this is the best I've done all day. Just, you know, three kills, top 34. I've gotten more kills, but I've just been getting destroyed for some odd reason. I'll play devil's advocate and I'll keep them. I mean, we got probably got a bu bunch of Satans in this lobby, so I'll, hey, I'll keep them. Hey, don't mind me, I'll keep them. It's just they're so OP and <laughs> the weapon delay. I want to talk about the problems with this game, because I've always wondered, you know, when would they start fucking this game up? And it's pretty apparent that right now they're trying to, they're fucking it up a little bit. Obviously, they're not trying to. But I feel like Epic is not stubborn enough to leave stupid shit like this in the game, like the weapon delay. That's just retarded. Just make the weapon delay pump to pump and rocket to rocket, just like that, nothing else, that's it. Actually, you know what, take rockets out the game, that'd be fucking perfect. So if you watch Daquan at all, you know like for him, even though he's like one of the best players, I think he's so good. As far as aggressive players go, him and Ninja are by far the best. Smith isn't as, as aggressive from what I've seen. So I feel like he's a really good player and I really trust his opinion on it because we have really similar playstyles. I'm not much of a douchebag like he is as far as playstyle goes with the quad pump, but uh, you know, we play similar. I'm pretty aggressive. I see myself as pretty aggressive. So he has a problem with the weapon delay, which I totally understand, where you go from edit to shotgunning or anything like that, there's a huge delay. In his words, it shortens the skill gap, which I'm not too sure, of, because, you know, they're opposing arguments, you know, Myth doesn't agree with him. I agree with Daquan on that. Obviously, it shortens the skill gap, and I know that uh, Myth sees his play, and he's like, you know, you shouldn't be doing this. It's like, but it's effective. Like, you should peak that, in my opinion. If you're aggressive playing, and if you're going for kills, you should be going for... Hold up. Hey, hey, hey. Is that him? So that dude has shield. I hit the dude for 100. Dude, why is it not putting me through my shit? Ooh, got him. Yeah, so I feel like it's just a clashing of playstyles between them because I feel like Myth is a bit more passive. He's not as kill whoring and uh, I just feel like it's hard to make a judge on a play. You know, if, if you're not an advocate for that playstyle, it's a bit hard to judge it. So I feel like Daquan is right about, you know, the shortening of the play gap, the shortening of the skill gap and stuff like that. Let me turn off my music. So I definitely don't like the new update and I don't like 100% accuracy or the fall off damage. I just, I don't know, dude. Like, no fall off damage was such a key, like, I just love that about this game. You know, not a lot of games have that. Call of Duty definitely doesn't have that. I don't know if PUBG or any game like that has it, but uh, I just really liked how this game just ha didn't have fall off damage. Now that's a way, it's not the biggest hole in the world, obviously it hasn't even changed much, but I just appreciate, you know, the 36 shot cross map with the uh, scar. Even though it makes it sound a little broken, like obviously you shouldn't be able to do that in some people's mind, but I don't know, I just really like this. There's never been uh, fall off damage for shotguns, which is weird, it's just, you know, how many pellets you hit, so. 
I don't know, maybe they'll change it, maybe they won't. In my eyes, I don't think they'll change it just because it's not that big of a deal and it's not ruining the game, but it could be a start and that's what I'm scared of. So what I'm thinking for tomorrow's video is I've been hitting a fuck ton of clips on Call of Duty and playing COD a lot more than Fortnite as of lately. I know that's not what people want to see, so I just post Fortnite for the most part. But I might make a COD War 2 video or an IW video because I feel like IW is by far the most underrated Call of Duty. Ooh, little snipey snipe right there. Let's use the rockets. Shabloinks. Shabloinks. What's he doing? Alright, dude, you wanna play that game? You wanna play the building game? I can fuck you up real quick. See, this is what you guys did to me. <laughs> this is what you all did to me. You make me use rockets. I don't, I don't want to have to use it. I don't want to be that kind of guy, but you... Fortnite, you made me do it. You made me do it. It's a shame, dude. What? Alright, that shit look good. And I blew myself up. Of course you hit me, dude. I hate playing this game, so I'm, I'm such a fucking fat fucking target. No one ever misses me. I swear to God they don't. Oh, there he is. Why would you, why would you go down to the low ground? Why? And somehow I miss every shot. He's so one shot, dude. And he hits me. Like, I don't understand that about this game. Why does everyone have 100% health? Oh, fuck. Gotta go, gotta go. Oh, I gotta strafe across the lake. I have to do it. Shit. So what I'm thinking is for tomorrow, I'll probably make a Call of Duty video. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. It just gets so boring so quick. And I'm already ready for the new map packs on COD War 2. But I just hate how they come out on Xbox a month later. It's just, uh, I don't know. Like, what's the big deal of just coming out with the Xbox on the same day? Like... Like, what's so bad about that? Like, how is it not possible? They're acting as if it's not possible. These news guys at Sledgehammer are something special. Dude, COD War 2 feels like a different game, dude. It feels like COD War 2 Remastered. In a good way, so it's like a totally different game, but it's way better than what it was. There's not as many exploits, it's a lot more, a lot more balanced than what it was, which I'm really happy about. I know it's a little bit too late, not a lot of people want to go back to the game, but eh. Doesn't really matter that much to me. As long as I'm playing it, as long as I enjoy it, it's whatever. I would like it if other people liked it as much as I do, but nah, it's whatever. And I really want a good AR to trade out the sub for. I love the sub, and before the patch, I would use it instead of like anything except the blue burst on up, like blue burst, uh, purple scar, or gold scar. I would, I would trade it over the blue AR, but now since it has drop off damage, uh, oh shit. Boxing yourself in, you must be healing up. Shabloinks. Hey, what the hell? Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is this dude just chilling there? Oh, damn. Oh, damn, his mom wants him to do him. Shit. Shit. Hell yeah. His mom probably called him to do a favor for it, and then he got shablinked. I need to fucking redeem myself. Stop jumping. Just Hey, just press me, pussy. I just, I need to redeem myself from two top two losses yesterday. Two top two losses I had yesterday. So I need to redeem myself right here. Oh, build off, build off. Okay. Oh, you're gonna get caught in a storm, son. Look at this skill this man has. Oh shit. Aha! Wait, there's someone under it? There's someone under it. I'm gonna get his ass with these, hopefully. Uh, I hit his ass a couple of times. Uh, I'm gonna go for the worst guy, actually. Damn, he's three shot? Saw a hell of numbers bounce off him. I know this is really cheesy to just shoot nades, but dude, this is just- This is how you combat builders like this. He's just spam building, which I understand, so. Not like I'm saying he shouldn't be doing this. I mean, what else is he gonna do? Ooh, one shot. What I've noticed is since the update, say you shoot someone's shit down like I did right there, he took damage from it, but I didn't hear it at all. I don't know why, but I never heard it. And yesterday I did the same thing and I didn't hear the dude taking damage, which is weird. Let me tell you something. Don't you ever, ever try to aggress me. I take it as a total disrespect. Yeah, get fucked, kid. 
I would dab, but my dabbing arm is in a sling right now, so, uh, <laughs> Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Is Epic ruining this game? My opinion, no, but they could be on their way to doing it. Call of Duty video tomorrow, and I will see you guys later. Peace.